The oceans cover over 70% of our planet. You know, it really is the majority of the world's surface and they're really the least understood things on the planet. One of the big challenges in looking at global climate change and global variability is the lack of observations. CSIRO brings to the table a lot of expertise in engineering and technology to drive the development of new and innovative science observation platforms. The partnership with Sail Drone and CSIRO is quite unique in that it provides opportunities for scientists who would not otherwise be able to go to sea to make very critical ocean observations. The Sail Drone works with a combination of wind and solar using this unique patented wing we harness the wind energy to push the vehicle along and then we use solar to charge the batteries and that runs the computers on board. So it doesn't consume anything while it goes along so it can stay at sea almost indefinitely. Solar adds value to us in many ways. The prestige of working with such incredible research scientists dramatically shortens the timelines for integration of new sensors for us so we can deploy mission-ready drones much faster than we would have otherwise been able to do so. Cell drones are capable of making a wide range of uh, scientific measurements, both of the atmosphere immediately above the ocean and information from the ocean itself. That includes salinity sensors, temperature sensors, atmospheric sensors. What we're bringing to the table is some very dedicated specific instrumentation, measuring the carbon both in the water and immediately above the water surface. And this allows us to understand the carbon fluxes that are happening at the ocean surface. That's fundamental to understanding the uptake of carbon, which goes into global climate models. We're also equipping the systems with a scientific echo sounder, which will sonify the water column, basically ping the water column with an acoustic pulse, which allows us to look at the biota, the fish, the critters in the water column, as well as potential bubble seeps coming from the ocean floor. There's lots of opportunities to collect very interesting data with the sail drones across Australian waters, in particular in areas of ocean energy research in the Southern Ocean and in Antarctic waters where we see very little vessel variability and vessel access, and in areas such as the Great Barrier Reef where we see lots of changes. The CSIRO is a world leader in global climate research. Our partners have access to over 5,000 researchers across uh, multiple disciplines. This means that working with us, we can help them bring their technology to the next level and remain on the cutting edge. There's so many problems facing the ocean, you know, it's a gargantuan task. Right now we have to sail drones from California down across the equator into the Southern Ocean, and that takes about six to eight months. But deploying from Hobart is a huge advantage to us. Having a research lab and scientists and engineering facilities in Hobart is incredibly valuable. So I'm well renowned for an incredible sense of innovation, amazing scientists, a bunch of really fun, uh, exciting and knowledgeable Australians who are taking this project to the next level in the Southern Hemisphere. At CSIRO we deploy a large range of technology and science. And that can feed into the observations that are needed for the modelling community to make the predictions that allow us to understand all those questions that Australia faces and indeed the planet faces as well.